what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music again, bringing you the next part of this song. You guys, thanks for your patience. Uh, I'm going to definitely do the solo soon as well, so thank you so much. Let's learn it. Okay, so I'm going to teach you, you know, all this pretty stuff, but I have a little kind of like background rhythm guitar part that I think if you combine it with this other part I'm going to show you, it'll sound really good. Uh, but the, you know, you're going to be able to do it with just one guitar if you have to. So we're going to start with the E minor. You know, the classic, you know, E minor thing. Then we're going to go to A minor, and really the part's going to be up here. So in a, as a background, you could just let it ring out. And then with the C chord, because we're going to play, we're going to play something up here. But underneath it, you have the regular old C chord. So I just pinched the A and high E string, and then B, G, then E, B again. So, and then a D, but with the middle finger off, so you have the open high E in there, and I pinch the D and high E, and that same picking pattern, so the pinch, the D and high E, and then B, G. So here's what it looks like. E minor, A minor. Now C. And then back to E minor. And for this kind of rhythm part, back at E minor again. And you can do that original pull off on that seventh fret. Okay, one more time on the rhythm part. E minor. And then we're gonna go to A minor. And then we do the C. Okay, so that's what's going on there. Now let's get up to the all that pretty stuff. So we have to kind of abandon the final little part there to go into the lead couple of lead guitar licks. So that leaves you with two really cool distinct parts. And this one that I'm currently teaching with all the high stuff, you can do this alone as just one guitar part. And here's what we're gonna do. Think of the 12th fret on the B and high E, and we're gonna do high E B. Then I'm gonna use, uh, go up a whole step on the high E, but go back to the B on 12. So you have then pinky on the 15, back to B, and then that goes up a whole set to 17, back to B. So the part is But what we want to do, especially if you're going to play this part alone, is we want to get the low E in there. So I'm just going each time I hit the high E, I pinch the E with it. Then I hit the, the low E again. Sorry. So I'm going. That way you get that droning E in there. Uh, let's see, with the loop. Yeah, 
I screwed up a little bit there. So. So that's that E minor move. Now, with the backgrounds playing A minor, we're going to play this really pretty A minor right here where the pinky is on the 8th fret of the high E, and then I'm barring across the 5th fret. I'm going to pinch the open A with that high E. Pinch those, and then we pluck the B and G. And then you're going to do the high E, B, G picking again. Just like that. And then finally, the open A with the thumb. We're still holding that. We hit the open A, and then G, B, high E, B, G. Sorry. Like that. So from the top. New thing, pinch the A and high E. High E. Now the back ring, the, the lower guitar. So we're going to play this now, which I think is really pretty. You put a little chorus effect on there. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, uh, Pinching the 10 on the D and 12 on the high E. And then my pinky comes down. It looks like a little D shape right here. But I got to get the root right there on that 10th fret D, 12th fret high E. Pinky down to the 13. And then I'm just bringing my ring finger over because my fingers are too chubby to hold that chord down. So, uh... Just like that. Then high E to that D. Like that. And that I think sounds really cool. And then same thing up a whole step. Even that high E D. Okay, so. Okay, let's do everything from the top. It's a bit slow. So what goes on there is it's just B to, on the 12th fret, B, E, E, B. But I'm getting the low E with it. And then one in between them. So I hit it one time.
So all you have to do is when you, you repeat it and it does the same thing, this, and then you can do the first one. Then we'll go into lead guitar mode and it's the A minor. Well, actually, no, it's the E minor pentatonic and we're on the uh, G string, 12 to 14. So, da, da, and then again, da, let's see it. So yeah, so it's all just on that G string. Da, 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 da. So you just, it's kind of bluesy almost. And then we're gonna go. And so you've got your pinky on the 15 of the, of the B, that same 14 uh, G string bend. And you just hold them together. And then on the D string, hammer on from 12 to 14, then 12 to G, back to the root, 14 D. Like that. So let's see, really slow. Now the repeat. Let's see, I put a little chorus pedal on here. All right, there it was, you guys. Thank you again for the support and supporting Marty Music. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. I gotta keep on making it. Keep making, keep